Welcome back everyone. This is the Cosmic Awakening. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. It has been a few days. Um, I have been super, super busy with energy work and readings and other stuff going on. So I haven't been able to be here um, as regularly. But I mean, here we are. Let's do this. This is a career and finances reading. It's timeless. So this is meant to meant for you whenever you find it. Um, we've got three piles here today. All the decks that I use, you can find those in the affiliate links down below. Um, thank you for all my subscribers. Uh, you really help keep the channel going by commenting, by liking, by subscribing, hitting the bell. And this is also how you are notified of my reading. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know how it resonates in the comment section down below. If it does not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, and hopefully we will resonate. Um, not every reader is for everyone. Um, I'm reading for a lot of people and sometimes I don't tap into your energy and that's fine. That's okay. And sometimes we tap into your energy in one reading and we don't in the other. That's also perfectly fine. So we've got three options here today. We've got option number one with the green fluorite point. We got option number two with this pyrite. Got option number three with the double terminated clear quartz aura, angel aura. Let me just, the light here, I, I can't. I need to get some kind of photography course to teach me how to use lighting because I don't want it, I, I don't want this to be too saturated. But again, I want it to look pretty. Help anyone help? It's okay. I can't. Yeah, people can't know everything, right? We just need to. What's important here is the message. So let's focus on that, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna move these up here. Meanwhile. I'm going to take these two off the table. We'll look at those later, okay? And we got pile number one. Welcome pile one. This is your reading. If you chose the green fluorite point, this is your reading. Okay, so let's find out what spirit has to say to you, okay, about your finances and your career. So you guys got quite a few cards here. I mean, all the, all the piles did. Um... If you like any of the decks that, that I'm using here, you can find the affiliate links in the description box below. You can uh, purchase through them or just click to find out which ones they are. Don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already to be notified of future readings. Okay, let's see what, what your messages about career and finances are, pile one. So let's see. We've got new moon in Taurus. So something significant about the new moon in Taurus so maybe look at the calendar and find out when that is. So interesting, all the green here, um, all this green. And we have all these green crystals that I chose for the table today. So yeah, and green is all about prosperity, obviously. Um, so this one says prosperity lies ahead. It's like you're starting a new cycle here, one that will bring you a lot of prosperity. Okay, so this is good. This is good. It means that whatever you're doing, it's working out. Um, go check your calendars. Maybe you have your moon in Taurus as well. Okay, I'm going to leave that one there. It looks pretty. Okay, so what else do we have? We got look in a book. Whatever your question is right now, you'll find the answer in some kind of book. Maybe researching online as well. The words you will find will bring the insight you seek. So maybe you need uh, to learn something uh, or to polish your skills here when it comes to your career and your finances. Maybe you're studying something or if you're not and you're um, having a hard time figuring out something, maybe you need to do more research here is what this is saying. Or maybe uh, you'd be reading a book and all of a sudden there will be um, information that comes through that book there. Openness. We've got openness. Be open to learning is what I'm immediately hearing here. Be open to polishing your skills. Um, and be. Uh, this is so funny here because we got the new moon there and we've got a full moon here. So I see a one month cycle 
when this will all unfold. Now, I don't know if it's from the new moon in Taurus. So check the calendar for the, whatever year you're watching this in. It's being recorded in 2021. But it, what's really um, calling my attention here is the new moon in Taurus. And then that cycle until the full moon of that cycle within that month is when that prosperity is coming in for you. So check the calendar and see when that is. I'm not sure if it's in May season, in uh, the month of May, sorry, or I mean Taurus season as well. Um, but just be open to the guidance that is coming to you or any guidance um, and um, because you're going to get some clarity here with this full moon. That means clarity. You're going to get clarity through research or reading a book or reading a book on uh, career or, you know, finances, whatever you are um, having an issue with, there's a book for that. So look for a book, get that book, and be open to integrating what you learned there. Now for our tarot, um, we got the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is about getting some, it's again, it's uh, starting something new that you love. Okay, so yes, and there's a new beginning here with the new moon. So there's some, some kind of new beginning that you're having here. It's something that you really love doing or you're going to really love. It's like a passion project. It's, it's doing something from your heart space, but it's also something you don't feel quite prepared to do. Um, you feel like you're uh, a little bit unprepared for this, and that's okay. That is okay. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay, so you're going from the Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So this is saying you should absolutely do this. You should absolutely do this especially because now we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so I'm, I'm hearing a couple of things here. A couple of things here. So maybe there's a power couple situation going on for you where you meet your soulmate and you have a common interest in learning in books or you, you think alike and there's going to be, you're going to get married to this person or you're going to be doing something with this person that will expand your emotional fulfillment and at the same time your financial fulfillment. So if there's something here that you will love, love doing. Now, for other, others of you who don't uh, currently resonate with this power couple, thing mm, maybe this is a new love or a friendship that's turning into something more and then you're going to end up working together for some of you and building a family together and making a lot of money together like a family business or there's something you're meant to do together and I'm seeing all these constellations here on this card I don't know if you can quite clearly see them but you could have some kind of connection to you could be light workers and have a, a joint mission on the planet together. Um, you think alike, you have the same mission, the same plan, and you're just starting this relationship or you've just donned something or you're learning a lot from this person in this relationship or you both really like to learn or research, deep research, something like that. But there's a combination here for some of you where love and work, they meet and it's going to bring in a lot of money. So whoever resonates with that, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm so, so curious. Um, but this could also mean that you're just starting this thing. And you need to trust what your intuition is saying because this is leading you to a lot of emotional fulfillment and a lot of stability. This stability is stability you're, you're going to be able to... Um, make enough money for others, for your family, um, to buy the home you want. This is stability and wealth, okay? This is stability and wealth. So whatever it is you are researching right now or thinking about starting, that's from a heart space. Spirit wants you to know that this will be very, 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 very prosperous, okay? That's actually quite nice. Um, we got the Four of Swords, so maybe you're procrastinating a little bit. And Spirit is saying, if you're doing this, stop doing this. Start getting to work, Eight of Pentacles. Start taking the practical steps you need to take. 
and be patient. Be patient because you will plant some good seeds here. It's all good. It's all good, okay? Don't freak out. Don't uh, sit on it. It's time to take action. Start doing the work because this will be worth it. Yeah, the mystery, the numinous. So this may be a little bit mysterious and it may be creating some kind of discomfort um, because there's a lot that is unknown because you don't have proof uh, or visible proof that this is unfolding for you. Um, but Spirit is saying you don't need to. Follow your intuition because it's on point, okay? Um, and just follow. Yeah, take action with Mars here. Yeah, you just have to take action. That's the only thing that's lacking right now. Everything else is in place. Now it's time to take action, okay? Act on your desires because you've got the drive for this and it's the time. Okay, you could have Gemini in your chart or dealing with a Gemini here. Okay, this is about communicating as well. Uh, maybe uh, collaboration again. So that could be that situation where you're collaborating with um, a romantic partner or with someone else and you're, you're both going to be really happy doing this. Yeah, now the fifth house in passion. So it's something you're passionate about and it's definitely something you can be doing with someone you're passionate about as well. We got Leo here, so maybe some of you have this in your chart or you're dealing with someone who has that in their chart. We have Virgo, so maybe someone here has Virgo in their chart, but this is definitely all about being really methodical, okay? Being very ritualistic about this, okay? Um, there has to be um, discipline, there has to be a strategy, there has to be a plan, all of that, just make sure this is, these are all steps that you take, okay? There's one thing that's the idea, and then you have to come up with a plan. Uh, that plan has to contain a strategy, right? Then there's action, um, you have to follow these action, action steps, okay? And they may be small ones in the beginning because there's a lot that, you know, there's priorities and there are things that you can tackle and control and there are other things that you need to wait for. Now. Don't get discouraged about the things that you can't control because in your vision, there's a time where certain things need to unfold before others can unfold, right? So never go with the fear that what can go wrong will go wrong. You have to think differently here, okay? Second house, yes, this has a lot of potential to bring in a lot of material solidity, okay? Possessions. Um, and you also, it's about knowing your worth, okay? Don't procrastinate because you think that you're not worthy or that you don't have what it takes. You do have what it takes. You absolutely, absolutely do have what it takes. Only thing holding you back could be your fear. So that's what you need to get under control because you've got everything you need. You've got the talent. You've got the, you've got the skills. Okay. It's all about your self-worth and getting organized at this point. Yes, because with Jupiter here, there's expansion in Jupiter really is um, that planet that is very benevolent. It brings in luck. And what is luck? Luck is a combination of being prepared with being met with the opportunity, right? It's like some people may think, why should I prepare myself? I'm never going to get the opportunity. That's wrong. Actually, you're always going to get an opportunity at some point. But if you're not prepared, then you will not be able to grasp, to get that opportunity, first to identify it and then to take it. Okay, when you're prepared, there's not, nothing stopping you from taking an opportunity. And there's blessings here for sure. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of blessings here. Um, so you can, you can stay optimistic about this. Okay, and go in with enthusiasm. There's luck here. Okay, uh, this could be involving a foreign culture, something online, travel, doesn't have to be. Okay, um, this could also involve some form of teaching. Um, I'm seeing the wheel of fortune here. So definitely things are about to speed up. Your luck is about to change. You're starting to reap some good karma here. So really take advantage of this. This is, a, this is almost like a once in a lifetime chance that you should not let go of. Okay, there's a lot of potential here. So take that leap of faith because there will be expansion. Okay, there will be expansion. So just stay positive. We got Saturn. Yes, you've learned the lessons. Um, as so long as you're disciplined, so long as there's structure, so long as you are scheduling the time to do this and being responsible and disciplined, as long as you, you've got the ambition, 
Okay, it's just about taking those practical steps now. Um, yeah, exactly. First house, go for it. New beginning. This is a number one. This is a new beginning. Okay, also take care of your body. Okay, take care of your health during this time. But, but you have the vitality. This is like, it's almost like if this is not right now, this is going to happen very soon. You're coming into a new beginning. You've closed some kind of cycle. And now, all of a sudden, you may have had a tower moment where, you know, a tower moment in this case means that you got um, an epiphany or you're about to get an epiphany on how to move forward. There's some kind of breakthrough that's about to happen for you based on something you already had the epiphany on, you already planned or a sudden idea or from some brainstorming as well. Yeah, brainstorm with someone because that's going to, if you haven't yet, okay, this could have something to do with technology with obviously with the internet again. Um, it's going to be very surprising. There's an idea that's going to come all of a sudden and unexpectedly to you, either through a collaboration or just your own mind or in a dream or something that it's going to wake you up to, to something here that you should be doing. Yeah, this is about being an entrepreneur, being your own boss. Sorry, I can't get the lighting. It's about being an entrepreneur and being your own boss here, okay? You have what it takes, what I was saying. And you're supposed, you're meant to do something here. You're not meant to be part of, let's say, a multinational structure. You're, you're meant to do your own thing, to be your own CEO, your own boss, an entrepreneur here. Okay, and whatever idea you have, it's, it's, a, it's, it's cutting edge, it's revolutionary, it's rupture with what already exists. You're supposed to be doing something completely different. And this may, they, this may be, because this may be that unknown there, that is the mystery is this going to work out? Do people really need this? And Spirit is saying, yes, yes, take action. There's going to be expansion here. You have the wisdom. You have the discipline. You are uh, ambitious enough. You. This is very realistic. Don't think just because it doesn't exist yet. It, it's not, you know, how many people started things that didn't exist and didn't know that if they would work out? It, it's just because they had to follow their instinct. So if your inst instinct is telling you to do something, absolutely go for it. You could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra. Now I'm seeing so many signs here and I'm seeing lover there with the Leo. We got Leo, we got Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, uh, the fifth house. So this definitely could be a joint venture with a romantic partner either now or in the future. Okay. This could be energy coming up or you could have had an epiphany about someone who is your soulmate and you're, this is a sign for some of you that you're going to be ending up doing something with this person work-wise because you, there's this energy between you that you can create. It's power couple energy, okay? Going back to that energy. This is going to be for the benefit of humankind, okay? And again, Uranus and the 11th house, that's the same energy. This is definitely something new, something humanity needs, okay? Um, this could be a common goal startup that you're doing with friends or with a friend or it, it's definitely something that will benefit humanity and it's something very futuristic. Ooh, I love this. And now we have Aquarius. So Aquarius, Uranus in 11th house. Okay, so this is definitely experimental, whatever you're doing. But just allow it to flow because you're, you're not supposed to follow the crowd or the trends. You are supposed to do be doing something very different. Okay, you are. Um, yeah. It's like you got everything it takes here. Like we got two very powerful earth si signs that are perfect in a work environment, which is Virgo and Capricorn. So this is telling me you have what it takes. You have the passion. You have the drive. Okay. Yes, you're on the right path. I was going to say this right at the beginning of the reading somewhere, somewhere I was going to say this. You're on the right path or maybe I even said it. So keep doing what you're doing because it's going to work and it's working. We got travel. So maybe could involve travel. See how he's using a computer there? I did say this. Something online. So go for it. Your life purpose involves traveling or something online. Look for a sign. Exactly. Now this ties into this one. So you're going to be getting signs about this, not going to be very obvious, but your intuition is going to speak to you and you're going to be thinking about something and you're going to get a sign either through a song or music or 
um, just something you see or feathers. I don't know what the sign is for you. Ask for a sign and you will get that sign. If, if you're having a hard time believing in this, okay? If you're having a hard time with the mystery that this presents, just look for a sign. You'll get your sign and take action. Again, that's that Mars energy right there, okay? Whatever the situation looks like right now, it will definitely improve once you start taking this action here, okay? Be receptive. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Some of you don't believe that you're worthy of this or don't believe that you're capable of this, um, Either I'm seeing some ancestral, um, some ancestral like um, lineage, a thing about um, there's not enough for everyone. We have to work super hard, otherwise we can't get what. But you, it's 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 more about allowing this to come to you and forget about whatever anyone told you about you being able to attract abundance. If someone, if this was like. Um, very limiting um, views in your family, you, you need to stop allowing that and, and start allowing yourself to receive because the blessings they want to come through. And this is so interesting because this is, this is that Uranus energy here, okay? This is that, you see the bolt of lightning? That's Uranus energy here. This is absolutely meant for you. This, this is something that is, whether you want it or not, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, you're transforming. You're transforming. You're going from lack mentality into an abundance mentality. You are. You're also um, healing ancestral trauma, ancestral karma. Okay, you're you're healing ancestral karma. You're not taking it with you anymore, and you you're, you're experiencing enormous change right now. And this is going to bring you great blessings. I'm seeing like rainbows everywhere here and lightning and this is going to be highly transformative because this is also that tower energy that's the tower energy where you know maybe everything you know is going to change this is going to be life-changing for sure and we got green compassion love and cultivation so the only thing here that spirit wants to tell you is to keep your heart in check don't forget about your needs and that green is abundance as well it's about attracting abundance and financial resources and stability and prosperity um, spend some time in nature I'm also hearing but but especially don't forget about your heart's needs what does your heart need because there you're going to find the answer to um, unblocking your career situation now for very few of you you're going to marry into money okay I'm just going to say it but the thing is here to focus on is the answer to your prosperity and your career opening up and bringing all these blessings to you is going to be doing something from your heart space, marrying for love and consequence, consequently maybe getting, uh, you know, um, marrying someone wealthy, it happens. Or, and then you, you're just happy being a wife or a husband or whatever and, and taking care of the rest because, you know, that's a lot of work as well. But it doesn't really... I mean, I don't advise that you do that, obviously. It's always nice to have your own source of income, right? And this is what it's saying. Whatever you do, do it based on love. And if you don't open your heart chakra, none of this is going to work for you. So you really need to work on nurturing yourself, nurturing other people around you, really spreading the love. This is where it all starts. Without love for what you do for the people around you, None of this is going to manifest, okay? But I do feel this is what's opening up for you. I do feel that your heart chakra is opening up. For some of you, I'm hearing finally op opening up. It's been closed. And as you open your heart chakra to universal love, which is not just romantic love, it's, it's, about, it's about embodying love, right? It's not about expecting love from someone. It's... it's, it's Opening your eyes in the morning, being grateful and loving everything that's around you, whether, you know, whether the, they're the most beautiful things or not, whether uh, the people around you are uh, really annoying you or whatever it is, just be able to, you know, how do I put this? I need to explain this in a way that, so it's about, right, you can still, you can maybe not like someone and still love them, Right. Or you may not like certain things about your house, but you may still love it for making you safe and 
warm and you know all these things you can love a blanket for or just your dog um your friends um the the person who is in the grocery store you know at the cashier the just because all these people were no islands all these people are a part of our existence and we really do depend we're interdependent on each other and so that's how um i'm hearing for someone hearing this is waiting for romantic love okay and they're like when is it my time and they they're getting grumpy and they're getting a little bitter um but the thing is if you're in that energy you're going to attract that energy if you want to attract the romantic love that you want you really need to be willing to to love everything and everyone including yourself including your flaws including your home including it's about making a choice to look at the pros and not so much at the cons it's about making a choice of being grateful for what you have rather than sulking over what you don't have okay i don't know who needed to hear this message i hope it i'm not triggering anyone um i know we all do need to hear this mes- message at some point in our lives but that's the message for you pile one other than this i do see that happening for you i do see you stepping into this universal love and i do see this is a career in finances reading but i do feel you're attracting both love and you know a really solid financial situation for yourself very soon okay that's the beautiful energy you're tapping into and also because you're learning about what you're worthy of and that's really good and i also feel there's something here that you're learning or you should pursue some kind of learning here and that's going to open up this so if you're thinking about studying something new absolutely go for it okay especially if if it's something you're ha- you're passionate about really be open to it because look look at the final results happiness and stability okay pile one what a beautiful reading Ooh, i love that reading beautiful let me know how that resonates in the comment section down below if it does not resonate choose another pile thank you so much for watching bless you bye for now welcome pile two if you chose this pyrite this is your pile this is your reading so career and finances for pile number two spirit let's find out what's going on for you okay so first off we've got voyage so you're about to embark on some kind of journey here um maybe overseas maybe you're moving somewhere overseas or maybe you're uh moving with your child or you're waiting for someone to meet you from overseas or you're about to move for work or or you could be doing something online here but let's find out more about what this is okay we got nature signs be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day nature talks to us continually continually we need only to open our hearts and minds so you may be seeing seeing like um animals in twos in pairs of two because that's what i'm seeing here or butterflies maybe a blue butterfly a monarch butterfly as well a squirrel so these could all be signs for you look at those animals there to see if you can identify any animals there but maybe when you spend time in nature either near the ocean or in the forest you get um very inspired and you start seeing these signs around you maybe if you've, you've noticed them you've been noticing them maybe okay we got you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer so this seems to be a worry for you um you want security and safety for your family and you're wondering if you should travel and if you will be safe and they're saying yes you will be safe if you travel to this place with your loved ones now you could have your moon and cancer but there's some kind of new beginning here the other pile also got a new moon so this could be very collective energy going on at the time being and so you're considering something here or you've made a decision here and you want to know how it's going to go open your heart and mind okay be very 
uh, open-minded about this. And pile number one also got this message. Seven of Pentacles. Pile one also got the Seven of Pentacles. If you felt like you wanted to watch pile one as well, go watch pile one. But this is saying you either are about to plant some good seeds or you have planted some good seeds here, okay? And you just need to be patient. But you can take that leap of faith, absolutely, with the fool here. You can take that leap of faith because you're going to be safe, okay? There's safety here. Seven of Cups, maybe you have a lot of options and you don't quite know. I see a lot of contemplation here. You're wondering where, should I stay? Should I go? Should I go for this option, that option, the other option? That could be what's going on here. And you're doing some research or you're still a student or you're studying something here. Page of Swords. I do believe we got the Page of Swords. No, we got the Page of Cups. But it's similar energy where you feel like you're not very prepared for this. Or this is something absolutely new. Yes, that's the new. Again, a lot of new happening here with the new moon and the pages showing up. Maybe you're really young or you're just a student or you're just starting something completely new here. And you're worried. Your fears here are worrying you. But at the same time, you're in this workaholic energy. There's some kind of an idea that you can't let go of. And you you could even be like, uh, you could even be obsessively researching something here is what I get with this. Because you definitely want this new beginning. An ace beneath the full, ace of wands. This is something you're really passionate about. Or you just got an epiphany. Um, you got some kind of information from spirit. That's again the same theme of pile number one. It's so interesting. So this definitely could be collective energy and it doesn't surprise me because we are coming into the springtime in the northern hemisphere. Either way, uh, Aries season is um, globally, not because it's spring in the northern hemisphere, not, not saying that. It's the first sign of the zodiac. It's the baby. So it doesn't surprise me that these pages are coming out here. And so this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't really matter when you're watching this, but I am recording this in March, so we're very close to this um, uh, Aries season. I do, and with the full, the full is Aries energy. So we're definitely, there's something here you're obsessed about or you really want to start doing, and it's almost time here. Um, this could be a, a, some partnership that you're coming into here again. Oh my goodness, the, so many, um, yeah, there's possibly a message for you in pile number one because this is about a partnership either with um, someone, there's a lot of twin flame unions going on and, you know, spiritual unions going on, like the people who are meant to be with each other are finally coming into contact with each other and in union and they have similar missions in life. So there's a lot of power couple energy going on as well. Um, strong karmic bonds that people are finally coming together. They probably identified each other in 2021 or 2020. And in 2021 is the time. I mean, a lot of people started coming together before this, but it's it's happening especially strongly after 2020. And so that may be the energy where you're, you're uh, in a partnership, a romantic partnership with someone with whom you have such a strong spiritual bond that you want to work together okay and there could be a family business going on here as well ninth house yeah you could have to travel somewhere or do something online again so this so many parallels with pile number one this is definitely a new adventure maybe you're in university maybe you just need some kind of higher education maybe this has to do with your spiritual growth whatever's going on is definitely based on your spiritual growth and there's a lot of risk taking here, risk taking, take the risk, you're safe to take the risk is what this is saying. So if you're wondering, yes, there's a new beginning, yes, you should take the risk with this, especially if you've been obsessively thinking about this, this is absolutely the way to go here with the eighth house. Investments, maybe this is an investment, again, this could be something with um, a strong soulmate, okay? And you're either finally coming into union with this person and you're going to be working on something together. Um, but let's see. Or this just could, just could mean that business transactions and investments, okay? This could also mean that. But then that's the, the obsessive energy. You've, uh, this is something you've been obsessively thinking about. And it's safe for you to move forward. It's safe for you to take the leap of faith. Okay, Taurus energy. So you could have Taurus in your chart. You could be dealing with someone who is a Taurus in your life somewhere. Um, but this is saying 
Whatever you're thinking about, don't worry. It's earthly. It's grounded. It's practical. Take the practical steps. There's fertility here. Just be productive, okay? Um, be tactful. This is something that's blooming, okay? And it's going to be blooming very soon. Yes. Make sure you do this from a heart space. We got the 12th house. There's something here you need to surrender to. Your subconscious mind is speaking to you. Maybe you're even getting dreams here, right? Karma, closing karma. This is so many. Okay, piles one and two are definitely connected. Okay, but you need to release some baggage or release some situation. You're at the end of some kind of a cycle here. Um, and this is all due to your spiritual development. That's what brought you here. We only have the, the higher numbers. We got seven, eight, nine, and 12. You know, we got the first, the second, the third, the fourth house, the fifth house, the sixth house. And then we have the higher houses up until the 12th. And this is like very spiritual energy from the, se the seventh house upward, right? And so it seems like you're tapping into the Akashic records. So it's almost like you're tapping into your life purpose. You're finally figuring out what your life purpose is and that could be tied into a relationship but this is also a new relationship this is not an old relationship this is a relationship that just dawned upon you this is something that you just realized who this person is in your life if this is a relationship that we're talking about could just be a partnership but this could also be a partnership that just dawned upon you it could be someone who lives at a distance from you. You may have to travel to them. They may have to travel to you or you may have to travel for work. They may have to travel to you for work. Okay, take it how it resonates. Mercury. Yeah, a lot of communication. This is about um, using communication, social media. Um, again, the internet. The internet. I'm feeling the internet working online. Well, obviously, you know, this is so common these days. It's almost like, okay, for some of you I'm hearing, you can pick up and go because wherever you, you go, you can manage the, your business from there, okay, for some of you. Um, there's also learning here. There's still something you need to learn. You need to analyze the information here. This could have something to do with business trade, okay, Um you could have Mercury strongly in your chart or Gemini as well. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, maybe there has recently been a muse in your life that has propelled you to wanting a new beginning, a catalyst here. Someone you either fell for romantically or you, you, you have this really strong attraction toward and they kind of acting like a catalyst for you to make some kind of change or have some new beginning in your life. And this is going to change the way you work and bring in prosperity to your life. So you're, you're weighing your options on how you can. That's why all this planning and researching, because you're weighing your options and you're trying to figure out how you're going to, how are you going to do this? Son, yeah, there's someone here who makes you very happy, acts like a catalyst. I don't know what's going on here with the love and the relationships here. Someone at a distance, maybe you're thinking, but the voyage there, traveling, yeah. Well, if you do decide to travel or, you know, um, I don't know why love and, well, I, I do know why, but I'm trying to explain to you guys how this is uh, possible. There's some kind of catalyst here and they're saying it's okay. It's going to, it's going to work out well if you do decide to travel, to do this, to be with this person or to work or whatever it is, it's going to be really happy. The sun is, is a really positive sign here. Um, you could be masculines watching this. Um, something about being childlike. You could be fathers or you could be attracting or you could be stepping into your masculine energy and taking charge. We got cancer. That's the mother energy. So we got the son in cancer, mother and father energy here. I don't know what that is about. Maybe some of you are having a child or... You're, you're coming into a relationship where there will be a child being born eventually. I don't know what this is about. Anyway, going back, some of you could have cancer in your chart, absolutely. Or you could have your um, north node in cancer, okay? And this means that um, you're supposed to do something, either um, work from home, work on online, work, um, spend more time with your family, have a family. Um, it's all part of your life purpose, being really nurturing it's like you or doing some kind of job in counseling or something like that, but also seeing trade here, something about trade. Uh, uh, 
maybe you're dealing with someone who does counseling but I see a strong yin and yang energy here, a soulmate energy connected to your work and your career. Okay, we, we never want to go there, guys, but this is where it's taking me. Yeah, just follow the flow. It's, it's flowing, okay? There's going to be harmony with this. Um, you're going to be energized. It's going to be very beneficial, and it's just going to flow really nicely with the trine there, okay? A trine is a, an astrological aspect that promotes just easy flow and uh, when things happen so whatever you're thinking about it's not going to be as hard as you think it's all about just deciding what you want and going for it because then we have the sextile there's going to be so many opportunities presenting themselves the ace the aces are also opportunities so there's an opportunity here for doing something that's you're really passionate about but you're just right at the end of closing the cycle here you just need to close the cycle here and it's not going to take long because we have aries aries season as well Aries to Gemini season absolutely you could have Aries in your chart doesn't have to be but again I saw Aries season as well for pile number one so Aries season would be end of March which is now what I'm recording up until the end of April okay but this is a timeless reading so just it's whenever you it's just the energy of starting something new it's time to go for something new because conjunction empowerment power couple could be or that whatever you do here, you will be very empowered, okay? Or if you join forces with a partner, that's a really good idea. Um, find your allies, find your collaborators, okay? Fourth house, that's that cancer energy. Maybe you're uh, working from home, moving homes, and you're going to be working from home, moving to a new home. Uh, something about going to a place where your family is from, where your background. Um, or maybe you could be getting into real estate as well. This could be real estate, having a new beginning in real estate, selling and buying homes, moving homes to be with someone and then you're finding a new job or uh, you're starting a new career there or new business wherever you're going, okay? Um, could be working with family or could, could have something connected to your family here. Um, I'm just looking at this pendant maybe. I'm seeing an old photograph and a pendant. For some of you, there could be a message there for you from family. Um, oh, okay. No, I'm not going to give that message, but now I am. We got Venus in love. So, okay, for some of you, there's someone here that you're thinking about in a sexual way, and you just want to travel toward them, and it's going to be a lot better than you think. You're going to be able to make opportunities happen for you there business-wise. It's almost like you can't get this person off your mind. It's definitely connected to love here for some reason. There is a, a connection to love or you moving to somewhere and you're wondering what can I do work-wise there to be with this person. And for some of you, you are getting your, you're imagining yourself in bed with this person all the time. I don't know. I got that message. But this is about allowing this process to unfold for yourself, okay? Don't... Um, don't judge your feelings or your thoughts too much about this. Um, some of you could even be getting into furniture, something to do with furniture, houses, real estate, cooking even. For some of you, it's cooking, okay? Mm. Yeah, so some of you, something to do with music or the signs that you're getting here in nature could also be not only signs in nature, but signs through music. Or you're about to start something new that has to do with music or your life purpose is connected to music somehow. Either way, whatever goes on here, whatever your uh, career path is, listening to the right music. Listen to the right music that will inspire you, okay? If you're feeling down and let's say, okay, let's see, I'm just, I'm hearing some messages about music here. Let's say um, you listen to a song that motivates you or you want to feel motivated, put on that song that motivates you. If you're feeling down and in the dumps and you want to just start crying to get to release it, you know, listen to something that makes you even sadder um, or makes you cry, okay? So you can release that and move on. Um, let's say you're a musician, go for it, okay? Or you're a singer, go for it. Take leadership of your life. Take charge of the situation. 
take the steps forward, move forward, go toward this opportunity, whatever it is, it's going to be very happy. It's something that you love, okay? Something that you love, maybe something you've always wanted since you were a child. Maybe there's already a lot of communication going on here. This will this will flow and there will be opportunities, okay, for happiness and growth and expansion. And again, maybe, you know, I don't know how a child in a partnership is all connected. Maybe you're moving with your family somewhere. It's going to be okay. Your family is going to be safe, okay? Remain positive. That's what needs to happen is you need to remain positive. Don't stop what you're doing. You're, in, you're doing it something very right. You're on the right path. Something's going to happen within the next few weeks here, okay? Just make sure you don't overwork yourself, okay? Start delegating. Ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. You may be overworking yourself. You may be overwhelmed. Yes, that is that. Um, what is this? Um, workaholic energy. Maybe you're a workaholic. You could have Gemini, Aquarius, or uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra in your chart for sure. Okay, something to do with the arts, express yourself through creative activities. So again, I'm seeing that musical instrument. So for some of you, there's definitely a connection here to music or the person you're dealing with is an artist, a musician, or maybe you uh, would benefit from expressing yourself through creative activities. Maybe that would open up, maybe that would help you make your decision. You maybe need to spend some time in nature, maybe listening to the sounds of nature, listening to music, uh, pr doing something that will take your mind off making a decision and work in general. And that's when you're going to start finding your answers. That's when you're going to start finding your answers. Yeah, this is all about waning moon, introspection and self-inventory. It's about being honest about what you want, genuine and authentic, okay? And really ask what makes you happy, what, because whatever you're um, really wanting to do, that's what you need to move toward, okay? In this case, the fears are just your ego. So if any advice, let go of your ego and take that leap of faith because I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing any... See, these are, are all astrological aspects here, right? We got the semi-sextile, which is like half a sextile. That's opportunity. Allow the opportunity to unfold because there will be flow and it will be very empowering. So just surrender. Surrender to whatever this is that's pulling you in this direction, okay? Wow, pile two. These, these, these messages are really... Um, coming in strong you're not getting any negative aspects in astrology um so go for it okay pile one and pile two are very connected thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings thank you so much for watching bless you all and uh, see you soon bye for now welcome what welcome oh wait a second just let me put that one back welcome Last but not least, if you chose this double terminated clear quartz angel aura, this is your reading. So let's find out what your message is. If you want a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings. The decks that I'm using here, you can find them in the affiliate links down below. Okay, pile three, let's get on with your reading. Let's find out what the messages are for your career right now. Okay. So first off, we've got stargazing. So some of you really need to stop and look at the stars, okay? Maybe there's a lot going on. You're overwhelmed. You're overworked. Maybe you think you need to work a lot to get to your goals rather than allow the information to come to you by quieting yourself and calming down and allowing your intuition to find the space to come through to you through your relaxed state, okay? When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation rather than sitting at a desk, looking at, at a piece of paper or looking at your computer or just overworking your mind. Maybe you just need to take your mind off things right now because, and another thing here, it says show the world the real you, okay? This is about being authentic and genuine, okay? Don't be... Um, if you're feeling held back by what people what people expect of you, what you should be doing, 
rather than what you who you are because it's when when we're authentic and genuine when we're doing something that's coming from the heart um that can't go wrong i mean i'm not saying being reckless or impulsive and just emotional what i'm saying is living in your truth and not just living in what others expect of you or what you think society's expectations of you are Okay, so some of you may be having a hard time, um, first of all, some of you are having a hard time accepting yourselves, others of you have a hard time revealing yourselves, okay? I know I used to struggle with this, I'm working on it, I'm getting better at it day by day, it's a process, okay? So don't pressure yourself, don't guilt yourself, just allow yourself to be who you are, right? Just allow yourself to be who you are. Um, and you may be worried about your tribe, okay, or a certain tribe, but maybe they're not your soul tribe. And as soon as you start taking those steps, you, you will definitely start finding your soul tribe, okay? They will start magically appearing. That started happening for me as well um, with this channel more specifically, okay? And focus. Focus on what it is you want, um, focus on your own journey. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about what you're here to do. I'm seeing a lot of purples here. So a lot of you are going through spiritual awakenings and, and spiritual ascension. And so I do feel this is what you're working on right now. Okay. And you're focusing on your own goals that are genuine and authentic to you. That's beautiful. Seven of wands. Yeah. You may be a little bit defensive about following your life purpose maybe it's uncomfortable but that's all that's what we that's what happens when we're doing what we're supposed to do it's not always comfortable but we just keep going and that's the energy i see here and the seven of wands is also telling me that you will be able to remove the obstacles whatever they are and i do feel most of these obstacles are really well the biggest one is your own mind and obviously previously um how do I put this? Previously observed um, situations in society that you've observed around you and you're worried that the same might happen to you, okay? Uh, there's a lot of cancel culture, hate culture, whatever. But, you know, for the amount of people who hate and cancel, there's maybe 90% will be for you and 10% will be against you. And if there's anyone else who doesn't like what you're doing, they're probably not even going to interact with you, okay? So don't worry about that. And another thing, we're not meant to please everyone, um, and we won't. We're not for everyone, and so that's okay. Um, not everyone's looking for crystals. Not everyone is looking for, um, I don't know, candles. Uh, not everyone is wanting to eat meat. Not everyone is wanting to go vegan, um, you know, and we need to still respect each other and, but there's always people who don't, unfortunately, and don't accept and, but you know, those are people who are not evolved. So why would you even worry? I posted something the other day on the community, on my community board here on YouTube. Um, it said something like, why would you get advice from someone? Why would you receive criticism from someone you wouldn't get advice from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's, it's the same thing, okay? Yeah, two of swords. There's a stalemate, uh, or there has been a stalemate, but you're about to move away from this. And so I do feel, that if you clicked on this, if this is resonating with you, this will help you make your decision, okay? This is uh, you being worried, but look, you're going to make your decision. Wheel of Fortune, of course, and things, as soon as you make your decision, everything will unfold for you. Everything will move really swiftly and faster for you but you need to get over your own what you're telling yourself your own um mental process okay because you could be being a little bit too hard on yourself because look we got the queen of pentacles here you could have taurus uh, taurus uh capricorn taurus capricorn virgo in your chart doesn't have to be but this, what this is basically saying is there's so much potential for you for becoming really financially stable and creating something long-lasting here, okay? 
Yes, Empress energy. Look, beautiful energy. This means you have what it takes. You have the creativity. You have the... You have the... Um, you have it all. You have all the tools with you, right? And you have... This is like a master manifester that you have. But the thing about being a master manifester in this case is watching your thoughts. Police your own thoughts in the sense that you can manifest what you want and what you don't want. It's about where you're putting your thoughts and your words. You're the kind of person, you could have Libra in your chart, you could have Taurus, or you could have Cancer in your chart as well. It doesn't matter. Don't focus on that. Let's focus on the energy. You could simply be someone who... You're the kind of person who, when you speak something, it manifests. So be very careful what you're saying. If you're saying, I don't want this, this, you know, the universe is just going to, it's going to bring you that because you said that word. They're not listening if you said don't or do in the beginning. They're just listening to the word. They're taking the, 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 the thing. They're not looking at the phrase. They're looking at the thing. And that's what's manifesting. It's that word that carries energy. Like don't doesn't carry a lot of energy unless it's used on its own. But there's these key words that carry a lot of energy, especially if they're especially negative or especially positive. So be very careful about that. Make sure you're just focused on the things you want. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You're going to get some good news because someone's going to see your worth and they're going to want to collaborate with you or bring you an offer. There's some kind of offer here that is maybe from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio does not have to be but they see your worth and they want to bring you some kind of either job offer or love offer it's weird how these career uh, readings are kind of like have so much I mean I mean at least pile one and pile two are very love charged as well yeah the challenge for you is focusing on what you want and what you love and again that's that seven of wands energy you're too focused on the challenges right now you need to change your focus to what can go right for example you need to change your focus to turning obstacles into stepping stones and you need to realize that you can do it with the queen of pentacles and the empress here you have what it takes to overcome any obstacle any obstacle just believe in yourself and take your mind off the stress and just you know, just stargaze and be authentic. Stop worrying about what other people think and start communicating. I do see some of you have a, a maybe some trauma that something happened to you when you spoke your truth and someone made you feel bad about it and it blocked your throat chakra. You need to do some energy healing on your throat chakra. I do energy healing um, and you can find my email for the information for that in the description box below. And when I work with my clients, so many of them, it happens that they discover that their throat chakra was blocked and they normally are able to unblock it. And more, more, than, um, more than a few people actually don't speak their mind. And that goes back to being authentic, the real you. Show the world the real you. And with the third house here, that's a, blo a blocked throat, throat chakra. And so they think that they are speaking their truth and they're saying what they want to say, but they're not saying it all, okay? And that's what I see here, okay? There's also something about using social media here, but the main message here is speak your truth and work on unblocking your throat chakra. Work on being comfortable little by little, slowly speaking your truth. Start with the little things and, and work from there up, okay? Because I do feel your main challenge is... Um, revealing who you are and what you're here to do whatever that is there may be some guilt shame shame so this is lower vibrational you need to raise your vibration and everything else will move yeah shadow work you need to do some shadow work or you're working on this um you're very sensitive to other people's criticism okay uh, you get very emotional when people criticize you so yeah, you absolutely need some energy healing. You need to work on. Do it. Do the work here and, and find out what it is that's bothering you. The energy 
healing that I do that you, you normally do unblock these things. These are all blocks and I do feel some blocks here with you. Neptune. Yes, it's becoming aware of things that are hidden from you and your subconscious right now um, that are keeping you stuck. Why is it that you are afraid to be authentic, right? Why is it that you are afraid to um, speak your truth? Why is it that you focus on the challenges? Why is it you keep stuck and, and una unable to make a decision, right? Tenth house, you're actually meant for even, you know... <sighs> You're meant for a lot of success in your career, actually. This is uh, the Ten of Pentacles energy here. You have what it takes to be really successful. And abundance is, for you, is really very strong potential for you. It's just accepting to do the work and uh, getting rid of these blocks here because you're you're meant to achieve a lot if you haven't already. Um, some of you did achieve a lot and then you self-sabotaged is what I'm hearing here, but you can get back up is what I'm hearing as well. Um, I'm seeing new beginnings as well for you. So there needs to be healing for sure with Kieran there. There's something about healing that will help you grow and release. Um, I'm seeing some crying here. Crying would be good for you. Looking and I do, yeah, in those healing sessions, there is a lot of crying that happens I mean, some of you watching this have been um, in my healing session, so you know what I'm talking about. If you want to leave a testimonial, let people know um, what I'm talking about. But in the comment section, I mean, but anyway. Um, and again, shame is coming up here. I did mention shame. So there's something that you feel would be shameful about the path that you want to take. And it's not really. It isn't really because it's what... You, you're seeing things from a very, either you're very young or whatever you're presenting to the world is not mainstream or, and it causes you some shame, but I don't see anything immoral or anything worthy of being shameful of. You're going through a huge transformation and you're meant to renew yourself and reinvent yourself. You're reinventing yourself right now. And this is going to bring you a lot of personal power to overcome your obstacles, to take your focus off your obstacles, and to start putting the work into really presenting to the world who you really are. This is going to bring you a lot of prosperity and a lot of achievements, okay? Yeah, the opposition is within yourself, okay? Um, you're confronting yourself. You're seeing yourself in the mirror. You're seeing things about yourself that you didn't know about yourself, and you're not happy with everything you're finding right now. I wouldn't be surprised if people watching this or a lot of people watching this are going through a Saturn return right now. Like in between 27 years old and 30 years old, 31 years old. Because um, you're in conflict here. Your mind is in conflict and you don't quite know what to do. But I did say turn your obstacles into stepping stones. And this card always reminds me of that when I see those steps and those stones there. I'm also hearing sticks and stones won't break my bones. Uh, turn obstacles into stepping stones. Discipline yourself. Maybe you're not disciplining yourself. Maybe you're expecting something to change around you so that you can go for something. Maybe you're expecting other people to accept you um, and until they do, you won't make any forward movement until the world changes. Don't expect the world to change. Roll with the punches. Accept that not everyone's going to accept you, and that's okay. You also don't accept everyone. You can work on it. We're all working on it, or at least I'd like to think many people are, but, you know, we're not going to achieve perfection. So the world is in not a perfect place, and we still need to move forward. So we all, none of us are perfect. All of us have done mistakes. So when you look into that mirror, don't, don't judge your, judge, blah, 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 sorry, <laughs> don't judge yourself too harshly, okay? You could have Scorpio in your chart, yeah, strong Pluto, Scorpio, wow, you can be hard on yourself, but at the same time, it's this process is very transformative for you. So you're hard on yourself, but that's the exact thing that makes you want to thrive and, and regenerate yourself, which is beautiful. So you could have like a Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. You could be Scorpio in your um, sign, something like that. 
sixth house, get to work. You've got something there you need to work on and work on your health. Maybe you are obsessed about your health and well-being and you're very ritualistic and very routine and very disciplined. Maybe you need to get disciplined. Maybe get on a better diet. Um, work out schedules. Work out a, a plan, you know. Organize yourself. Uh, maybe go learn some skills that will help you maybe do an apprenticeship okay to gain some method here don't be afraid yeah north node you're having trouble stepping into your life purpose uh, if you don't know what your life purpose is i can i, I do that work i can help you uh, discover what your life purpose is i do that you can just ask me um in a reading and i'll i'll answer that question for you but it's it's not a comfortable thing to do, especially if you're coming out of your Saturn uh, return. Some of some of us, I really struggled when I was 31, when I was 27, when I was 28, 29, 30, 31. Those were really heavy years for me, and then I, in the process, I learned that it was my Saturn return. Um, it was very depressing. It was I felt very lost, and you know. Um, but the sooner we accept what our life purpose is and we really pinpoint it and it makes sense to us, then the only thing we need to overcome is our willingness or our unwilling, unwillingness to move out of our comfort zones. It's not a comfortable thing, but we need to do it sooner or later, move into our life purpose, step into our destiny, okay? But it's a learning process and it may not be happening for you right now, maybe because you just need to... It, 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 Everyone takes their own time, okay? So don't pressure yourself into thinking that it should be, it would be. Others have already done it. Don't compare yourself to anyone. We got Pisces, so you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be an empath, okay? And you suffer when the world suffers. And this slows down your own process. And so if you do feel, if it's an obstacle for you that you are able to... You're like a sponge to the energy around you. You know exactly how other people feel. And you're, you're, um, you get into lower vibration because of the energy that you're picking up. I'm feeling for some of you this is the case. Then you need to protect yourself and create a shield that will protect yourself from absorbing all these people's energies. Like you may be some, someday you may be just fine and all of a sudden you get sad. And maybe that's some, some energy you're picking up, even from someone at a distance. So you could have this um, superpower. At the same time, it can really stop you on your tracks if you don't protect yourself. You can still understand what's going on with someone without having to take that on upon yourself as if it were you going through it, if this makes sense, okay? Um and for some of you, I, I mean, this group I'm reading for a lot of people, I'm sure. But for some of you, it's just that you're feeling sorry for yourself because it's not because you're a crybaby. It's because you don't understand what's going on with you. And it could be that you are an empath or you're going through a Saturn return or both. Or it's just a, t a time in your life where you're going through a death and a rebirth and you're just needing to heal a lot and overcome a lot. And that's okay. Don't worry. There's a lot of potential here. Okay surrounding you just take it easy just don't pressure yourself yes things are complex maybe you are a complex person and that's okay as well maybe there's something about your astrological chart that shows that there's a lot of intrinsic complexities within you like this happened to me and this still happens to me you know i started learning how to stargaze you don't have to actually look at the stars, but you can. It's, it's actually quite where, you know, I am complex and I have accepted that I am a complex person, but that's why I'm not meant to do what everyone else is meant to do. You see where I'm going here? And it happens just so that I connect certain dots that other people don't connect, and that's okay because people like you, like me, are needed here on the planet to help other people connect the dots. And for that, we have to be complex. But in being complex, it can create even uh, certain mental struggles, you know, like depression, anxiety, all of those things. So this is preparing you for something big. Yes, absolutely, something big. 
okay? You could have a very um, strong 10th house, or you could have your north node in the 10th house or the 6th house, where you feel very compassionate toward people and a, feel, a need of being of service to other people, okay? It doesn't have to be those placements. Just read the energy here. Yeah, you're changing, and maybe you're having to redo your, your wardrobe. Maybe you're changing to a new home, changing your body image to match your new energy. Because especially if you've been through a death and a rebirth or a Saturn return, if you're 27 to 31 years old, it doesn't have to be. There's another Saturn return that happens when we are 57 to when we're 60, 61. So you could be in that time of your life where a lot is changing for you. Your relationships, your work, your even where you live, how you look. And this is all changing. And you feel at times lost and down and all of that. But at the same time, this is going to bring in a lot of blessings. It's, it's the new chapter in your life. You're redefining your mission statement in the world. You're redefining how you see the world. Um, your point of view is going to change. Your image is going to change. The... Um, your attitude towards life is going to change from here on. But you're going through a, a rough time right now, and that's okay. There's still a lot of achievement there for you. There's still a lot of potential to bring in abundance, okay? You just need to go through this transformation, through the healing. You need to cry it out. You need to access your heart space, okay? And take just don't pressure yourself. Take it easy on yourself. You're, you're, you, you are where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. Maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. doesn't have to be. But there's an adventure waiting for you, okay? Maybe travel is involved here. And Spirit wants you to know that you're boundless. You will be able to take the risks you want to take, okay? Yeah, maybe you're doing some body work. Maybe you are working on your body um, to help you cope with what you're with, with what's happening maybe you are meant to be a massage therapist maybe you should do some energy healing this also says energy healing which i was discussing before maybe you're doing something to do or you need physical therapy or you're a physical therapist or you're an exercise trainer personal trainer you're meant to get into these areas or you're just doing this as you transition to feel stronger or to heal deal with the heaviness as well if you're not then this is advised maybe you're just someone who is extremely disciplined and hard on yourself and that keeps you stuck should i do this should i do that and spirit is just saying take the risk environmentalist you could be very connected to to um to the earth here to to nature sorry um and animals you could have a strong connection to nature and animals. Maybe there's something that you're doing that's uh, supposed to promote environmentalism. Okay, better environment, better something about nature. You'll be very successful, don't you worry. Yes, imperfect timing. It may not be happening when you want to, but it's divine timing. It's when you're ready. It's when everything is, you know... In the right amount it's really up to you how you tackle this heaviness how you tackle these obstacles it's about changing your focus believing in a better future because it's there for you spirit is saying it's there for you be strong yeah you're stronger than you think you are and stay strong throughout this because a happy outcome and success are assured here for sure and i was seeing that already i, I almost didn't need these again mother earth something you're doing is uh either Protecting the environment or is really good for the environment or something to do with nature. Um, plants, okay. Animals. But you, you're just going through a few lessons now and it's like upgrading in your spirituality and there's some growing pains here, okay. Some growing pains, some lessons, some things to let go of, to release, to cry over, to start and have a new beginning, it's coming for you, okay? But you need to, first of all, you need to be willing to change your focus, to turn your obstacles into stepping stones, to make that decision to move forward and to take the risk and do what your heart is calling you to do, okay? Beautiful reading, pile three. 
This is so interesting. I love the way this, this uh, all developed for you guys. Um, don't forget to like the video. Let me know how it resonated in the comment section down below. Uh, if it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm reading for a lot of people. There's nothing like a private reading, so you can find me in the description box below for private readings. I'm still doing those. Um, I do have a lot of regular clients, so I don't know for how much longer. Um, the focus of my work is going is transitioning more into energy healing because that is what people normally need more before they start getting readings. And it's been interesting because um, uh, the readings that I do after the energy healing takes place normally are more correct or not correct, but they're either better readings that come out afterwards after the energy healing or they're just a lot more there's just a lot more clarity okay because what we carry with us the trauma the the energy um, really dictates what's going to happen so uh, for some reason I, I needed to tell you to this guy tell you to this guys sorry I needed to tell you guys this why is mercury retrograde still working on me it's, I guess it's the shadow of Mercury retrograde still working because that was over a week ago. But I'm just, maybe you guys are having trouble uh, putting things into words or, or putting phrases together that make sense even to you. So I'm feeling, yeah, but you're going to get over this, guys. You absolutely are. The, the Wheel of Fortune is definitely going to turn in your favor. There's achievements here, recognition, going up in the ladder here. Maybe becoming, I don't know, business moguls, you know, because you have it in you. You have it in you. Absolutely. Okay. And you're also becoming very, very, very attractive here. Whatever work you're doing on your body or on your, the healing that you do as well, you're going to get a glow up here. Okay. And there may be even, I don't know, for some of you, there's someone who wants to express their feelings toward you. So maybe it's nice to know that as well. I know this is a career in finances reading, but there is someone who is maybe not feeling up to your level, but they want to come in with an offer, male or female, doesn't matter. Okay. Pile three, what a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings. And bless you. Stay safe. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Until next time.